Baltimore's Voice of the Streets Radio on Fire dot com. We are coming at you from the funeral of Freddie Gray. My name is Don McKay. I'm standing here with Mr. Linwood. And uh, we were having a conversation off camera about a lot of things as it relates to uh, Freddie Gray and, and all that's going on. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on the protests uh, and, and all of the things that have been happening? I mean, I feel the protests, the protest is fine because it's, it, it's, it's to get the attention. But if there's not no leadership and no action after the protest, then we just walking. You mean as far as a direction yeah, like, uh, after that? It's, it's, I, like I said, I've, I've been through, like, my, my uncle was Raymond Smoot. He got stomped to death in 2005 by uh, 25 inmates inside, I mean, 25 COs inside of the bookings. Like, so, I mean, it wasn't national news, but it was local news. And my pe- my people was down there, they was protesting, they was doing all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? And... By not being national, it wasn't a big thing, and it wasn't. It was before the Mike Browns and the Trayvon Martins and all that. So, like, I know, like, I know that for a second, it's like people will pay attention. But like I said, everything, like, time heals all wounds. So once time goes on, it's like people forget, or, and they only forget until the next thing happens. So, so then it's like, I, I, I mean, I understand what you're saying, and it, and it takes it takes time for for it to get to that point what um i mean how are people supposed to express themselves the the young uh impoverished uh people that have just been stepped on for long periods of time how how are they supposed to express themselves when you know when they have these type of situations speak they gotta talk and in in an intelligent manner don't go down there with this dumb, dumb mentality thinking that you're going to change something. You think stomping on police cars is going to change something? You know what it's going to change? It's going to change the tax dollars. And now tax people are going to have to pay for the stuff that you just stomped on. It really don't matter to you because you ain't got no job. Right, right. Like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, um, I definitely understand that. Uh, of course, we can't speculate. Uh, what do you think happened to Freddie Gray? I think, I think the police got too rough and broke your neck. And crushed your voice box, and then threw you in the back of the in the uh, thing, and I, that's what I think happened. I don't know, but it's being in, being in the back of a van, and even if you get tossed around, I can see you breaking your neck, or breaking your nose, or bruising the eye, or hurting the arm, or something like that. Crushing your voice box, and and taking eighty percent of your head off your spine, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the the family says, uh, as you said, the voice box was crushed. Uh, his neck was snapped uh, before he went into a coma and died. Um, yeah. So, I mean, since since the story has has hit national news, uh, everyone is in outrage uh, by that. Uh, still, some time before the um, the toxicology report comes because they're definitely trying to to see, you know, what what that was. Um, and also, uh, you know, the full report, it could take, you know, 30 to 45 days before the, the whole report, uh, comes out. And all that's going to do is make, it's just, like I said, I, Baltimore not the town for this show. Like Baltimore not the town for this. Like we don't respond to authority well, like on a regular basis. That's not a good thing. No. It, it's, it, it almost seems like you're defending it. I'm not defending it. I'm saying that we 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 ain't right. Like we like it's not a good thing. I'm not saying I'm defending it like it's a good it's a bad thing. Like these people are gonna get in the police face and, and wish they would do something. And and that comes with a whole another line of thing, cause who knows what might happen. It, it's gonna be a lot of this going on if shit don't stop or shit don't change. Like, yeah, I agree. I agree. And it, it's it's like um what I, what I think a lot of the uh, the guys don't think about is that what are you going to do when the cameras stop, when coverage of, you know, Freddie Gray's death is over and it ends, you know, and then you're at a point where the police remember what happened yeah. Yeah. and they will be back. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the police going to forget that, like, this? They're not going to forget. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. They're Definitely. They're going to keep, they're going, man, look. It's going to 
it's gonna be bad. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna be bad. Uh, yeah, hope, hopefully it's not gonna be bad. But look at what we're talking about. We talking about Baltimore City. We talking about a whole generation of kids who don't have nothing else to do. They think it's cool to get shot and killed and have a, na- a block named after you and put your name on the T-shirt and free James and all. They think that shit cool. Ain't nothing else to do. It's, they don't have anything else. Nothing. Um, you know, so so as I said, we we are here uh, at the funeral of Freddie Gray. A lot of uh, different media outlets here. Um, seemingly, the police presence is not as prominent as I thought that it would be. Uh, some undercovers I just saw. Um, do you feel that everything is going to be fine after this uh, day, at least? Today, probably. I, I think people got enough respect. Well, I think people got enough respect not to bring it here. Now, once this is over, I can't speak. Like it, they already saying they're supposed to be hitting different spots and. I mean, it's been on social media, and we going here at this time, and we going there at that time, and that's all after the funeral. But so, like I said, like I ain't, I ain't that doesn't, and that doesn't even make a lot of sense. I, I mean, and I'm glad you you, you brought that up. Um, of I course, the own shit I, don't, the, the, I mean, the protest started peacefully. Uh, Radio on Fire was at uh, the protest uh, on Saturday. Uh, things turned violent, you know, after the uh, the protest at City Hall. Uh, dozens of people arrested, property damage. Um, several businesses, uh, Michael Kors, uh, Subway, 7-Eleven. I was in a 7-Eleven just prior to coming here, and uh, there were two officers in 7-Eleven just in it, and that's not a normal thing. Um, what you know? What, I don't understand the frustration. Wh- why to the 7-Elevens or why to you know just random businesses? They were you know what, what is that about? It's these kids, yo. They don't they don't know no better. They just want to act out. They want to act out. Well, of the of the people arrested, uh, only six were juveniles, and, and some of them wasn't even from here. Not a lot. Not there. There was very few that um, that weren't from Baltimore. So, so, it, so what you're saying, like, it's, it's even people from other states that's coming here to get, to join along with the protest and act a fool. You know, over the weekend, we met several people from out of town that came down in support of the protest. Some people were just here. And supporting the protest, um, I'm not going to let you say that it was only people from out of town. Yo, I ain't saying it's only for people. Uh, these, yo, these kids are crazy. Yo, you can't even ride the bus on a Thursday on a normal day. It don't got nothing to do with like just this. Like th- these kids was a problem before this. I've seen I've seen pictures of kid kids that stole the MTA bus. Like, they stole the bus. I've seen pictures of them driving, the, like, pictures and videos. And, like, these kids been wreaking havoc on the city before this. So now, like, this ain't nothing but a, another a reason. Like, a reason for them to act out. Like, they don't, they, like, where's their parents? That, that's part of it. But at the, at the heart of the matter uh, is the police interaction with suspects. That's at the heart of the matter. You, you haven't touched on that at all. Police don't. They don't care about us. And, and that's the thing. So we, we, we want to change the interaction between police and, you know, suspects. It's, police here got a, they above the law. We do what we want to do. Regardless of whatever it is. They don't stop at red lights. They don't nothing. They do whatever they want to do. And when they come across one of us, it's what it's like... What you going to do to me, I can do whatever I want to do to you, and I'm going to get away with it. Why? Because I'm the police. Right, right. Uh, abuse of authority. Uh, this, this definitely happens. I think that that's a human trait, though. I think, I think that you get, I mean, let's go back to school for a minute. You give somebody a safety badge, you know, the safety badge, uh, you know, you walk over here, you walk over here. They abuse that. I think that abuse of power is a human trait. It has to be checked, though. But I think that that's I think that's a natural thing. When you give somebody a certain status and they feel like they over top of people, they feel like they can act a certain way towards those people. When you put that badge on the same way I put my shirt on this morning, like you're the same person I am. Like your job and your status and your, that don't mean too much of nothing. Because when it all come down to it, it's me and you right here, right now. 
Like you, you do whatever you do, and I do whatever I do. But you can take this mic down and take these earphones off, and it just be me and you here right now. They ain't got nothing to do with no status, yo. It's 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 about the person. That's why all this all this it's like they be trying to make it racial a lot, black this and white that. And it's I think it's a rich and poor thing and not a a black and white thing. Like I don't think that it's like, and I think that not to say that black people don't don't got a bad like bad rep because we do. We they never respected us ever from since the time they bought it. We fought to get this. I mean, they ain't never respect us, so they, I really think, I really think it's a rich and poor thing, yo. It's, it's not a, it's not a, a black and white thing. Because yeah. even, like I said, even the, even the rich black people don't still don't get the same respect as a regular white person. Like, they still, I mean. Definitely, definitely money uh, plays, a, plays a part. Uh, it looks like we're seeing activity near the door way. Uh, I'm assuming that um, the funeral processional is, is coming i think that it's over uh we're going to stay tuned and we're going to come back with some more mr linwood thank you very much sir always, always, always a pleasure always. all right radio on fire.com stay tuned